Hey guys, welcome to Cutting with Cronkito. I'm Cronkito. Today I'm going to show you how to properly adjust the chain on your chainsaw. Let's do it. Alrighty, I got some examples for you, but before we get started, make sure you got some of these. It's a good idea to wear them. Just because chains are sharp and they can cut you. And you're going to want to have one of these. Uh, if you just have sockets and screwdrivers, you can do it with that too, but this is going to make your life a whole lot easier. You can throw this in your pocket and you have steel bar nuts um, or this size. Most of your spark plugs are this size. Uh, Husky John's Red bar nuts are this size and it has a flat tip screwdriver built into the end here. Makes it real handy. Uh, let me show you these examples real quick. Let's start over here. Here's an example of a chain that's a little tight. You really got to pull on it to see some light under there. That's too tight. You could barely even roll it. That's an extreme example. If I were to start this saw up and run it, you would hear that chain screaming <laughs> against that bar. You can hear that sound from a long ways away. Tortured metal. Here's an example of one that's just right. If I pull just two fingers here, oh, a finger and a thumb, if I pull just a little bit, I can see just a little bit down on the bottom side here. You can see a little gap between this tie strap and the bar. And here is a little loose. Shouldn't be able to see your drive links hanging off of the chain. So let's start with this one that's too loose here. Loosen that turn or so. This chain has a stretch spot, so it's going to get looser and tighter as it goes. But I'm looking at the loosest spot, looks like here, maybe here. The part where it's stretched out the most, I'm not too loose. So I kind of balanced in between, found a good mixture of tight and loose. So we'll move on to this one that's too tight. Notice we have two bar nuts on this one. The adjuster is still in the side. Okay. That's about right.
Got another stretch chain. Little bit of slack, not too tight, not too loose. Uh, let me show you another type of adjuster. This little saw here. We still have our two bar nuts, but notice there's nothing in this hole here. Screwdriver can't fit in there. So we've got a front adjuster on this one. And where are you gonna find those? Let's see if I can get the angle. You're gonna wanna look between the bar and this bumper spike. In this groove right here, you're gonna take your scrunch and just scrape. It always fills up with sawdust and bar oil. Just scrape and then there's the adjuster right there. And you're gonna to wanna to turn that same clockwise for tighter, counterclockwise for looser. Alrighty, that pretty much concludes the tightening lesson. Uh, a couple of things, let me put my glasses on. Kinda of bright. Uh, a couple of things to think about. If you run your chain too tight, you're gonna have a bunch of extra friction that you don't need. Uh, you're gonna wear out your chains, your bar, your sprocket a lot quicker. If you run it too loose, it's gonna wobble in the cut from side to side and it won't cut as efficiently. If you have it too loose, it will also have a greater likelihood of derailing. Now chainsaws, for example this one, generally have some type of chain catcher and they've got some rubber built into the back here to stop the chain. Uh, but doing that causes unnecessary wear on your equipment and a derailing chain could quite easily hit you and that hurts. Another thing is you don't want to over tighten your bar nuts. They're not lug nuts on a car. You don't need to jump up and down on your scrunch to tighten your bar nut. Just uh, like you saw me do, a uh, nice firm tightening. Main thing is you want to hold it all together. You don't want it vibrating off. So that's as tight as that needs to be. A tiny bit of over tightening is not a bad thing because your chain will more than likely loosen up when it heats up. It'll stretch out a little bit. You just don't want to be on the extreme where you can hear the chain running through the bar like a banshee. <laughs> it should make that shh sound when it's running. And one more thing is you probably want to make a cut or two with it and check your tension again. Things can t shift around. Uh, you could have some sawdust, like I said, in the bar or somewhere that could have led you to believe that you had it correctly tensioned. And when you run it, it'll eject that out and you will see that it is no longer correctly tensioned. It is on the loose side. That's all I've got for this video. Make sure you check out, like, and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching. See ya.